Hello and welcome to Prophetic Prayer Hour. And I'm excited that you are part of what God is doing this season. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that Prophetic Prayer Hour is a prayer section where God transformed the lives of people and God changed their story permanently. At Prophetic Prayer Hour, there are miracles, healings, deliverance, and all forms of uh, testimonies, wonders. Hallelujah. I believe you had some. And uh, before the service will be over, we're going to receive so much testimony. You will testify. And people all over the world will be part of what God will be doing. You will be part of what God is doing in your life. In Jesus' name, I'm grateful and I'm thankful to God that you are part of what God is doing right now. In prophetic prayer hour, we pray, we eat word of God from the scripture. In other words, we study the scripture and we pray. Yes, we worship God and a whole lot of things begin to happen. And I say you're welcome in Jesus' name. Today, we are going to be praying from one verse, one prayer point, from one a particular chapter of the Bible. Very powerful. Matthew, uh, sorry, Mark. Look at the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 39. Mark 4, verse 39. By the grace of God, we'll be dealing with some of these issues as God will be helping us. Mark 4, 39. Are you there? Let's go. Let's look at that. Uh, yes, let's look at that. He said, and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. The wind don't have anything to do any chances it has to cease i'm commanding the wind in your life to cease now the storms of your life to cease now the bible says and the wind ceased and there was a great calm the wind ceased and there was a great calm and i prophesy he will arise in your life Jesus will arise in your life. Amen. God will arise in your life and begin to command every storm to be calm, every wind to cease. Today we are dealing with that prayer topic and it's titled, to, Oh Lord, steal my storm. Oh Lord, steal my storm. Oh Lord, steal my storm. Let's take some com uh, as confession right now. Declare this with me and say, I confess today that there is an infilling of the spirit of the highest in me. Say what I'm saying. Confess it now. Let's go again. Say, I confess today that there is an infilling of the spirit of the highest in me. I am no longer on my own. God is within me. Therefore, I arise in the power of Jesus and I rebuke the wind. I rebuke the storm. I rebuke every wind ranging in my life. I speak unto the sea. Peace, be still. The wind ceased in the name of Jesus, and there is a great calm. God, God's peace flowed my life like a river in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have said that com confession, go ahead and begin to pray that confession right now. Go ahead and begin to declare it in the prayer. Go ahead and pray that declaration. Go ahead and let's pray right now. Mako Shada Bayakana, Rekum de Gedegede, Shikabala, Ramanda Kalabayana, and Goraman de Gerikala, Runda La Payana, Rapa de Kalakatakataka, Rapa de Kalakataka, Rapa de Kalakataka, Rapa de Kalakataka, Rapa de Kalakataka, Lord, I confess uh, that there is an infilling of the spirit of the highest in me. Lord, I confess uh, that I am no longer on my own in the name of Jesus. I confess that God is within me in the name of Jesus. I confess uh, that therefore from now on, uh, ah, 
Shoda Bayala Baya. I arise in the name of Jesus. I arise in the power of God. And I rebuke every wind in my life. Every wind ranging in my life. Every strong ranging in my life. I speak unto the sea and I command peace to be still. I speak into my life. Peace be still. Every storm of my life. Every storm of my life. I command peace be still. Peace be still. I am flooded in the overwhelming peace of God. My life begin to receive peace like a river. Peace like a river. Peace like a river. Peace like a By the message of God, from this moment on, as you have declared it, based on your confession and declaration, from now on, receive peace like a river. Peace be still in your life. Peace be still in your life. Peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. Peace in the name of Jesus. My God. My God, my God, Amen. God is still in the business of doing great things. God is in the business of changing the story of man. God is in the business of ending every form of reproach in the lives of men. Thank you, Father. It is done in Jesus' name. Hear me, both child of God. Nobody is above the storm. Are you with me? No man is above the storm. One time or the other, you must go through the storm. 
Even Jesus went through the storm. In fact, the storm of Jesus was for us not to go through the storms of the Old Testament. And now we are to walk in the brand new law of Christ under the grace. And if grace was not available, my brother, you will not be able to stay. You will not be able to survive. I'm telling you, what is keeping everybody is grace. The grace of God. The mercies of God. The help of God. I'm telling you, the sun would have scourged you to death. The, the wickedness of men would have consumed you. If not the grace of God, I'm telling you, you will, you will be alive and be a living dead man. You will be alive and be smelling because the devil would have rusted a lot of people. Dealt with so many people, walk into the life of people and empty them. The grace of God is what is keeping many of us, including you. And I want you to value this grace, value it so much. If not, many of us would have been gone and long forgotten. But we thank you, Father, for the grace. Thank you, Lord, for grace. Thank you, Lord, for grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray a prayer. Very powerful. But before we pray, this prayer is called the prayer of collaboration. The prayer of partnership. As we pray that prayer, heaven come to partner with man. Let me talk to you about the storm. See, the storm uh, can be defined. Or let us, yeah, what is a storm? The storm is uh, a problem that is big and weighty. So big and weighty. A problem that is so big and weighty that no one can single-handedly resolve. A storm is a problem and is so big and weighty that no one one man one man don't have the capacity to single-handedly resolve however this particular storm and this same storm can be still can be commanded by the heavens to be still but for it to be still according to the scripture for this storm to be still, such an occurrence have to happen or it has to be a result of collaboration between God and man. It has to be a result of partnership between God and man for God to be able to come into your life. God know you are going through a problem, but that is why he said in Matthew chapter 7, he said, ask. Ask, I have you have to ask me, me and you need to come into an agreement. He said in John chapter 14, verse he said, If you ask anything, John 14 14, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. They have to be a place of prayer. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will hear from heaven and I will come and heal their land. There is a place of prayer. There is a place that you have to pray. There is a place you have to agree with Yeshua, Hamasiah. You have to agree with the Elohim. You have to come into agreement with God. And until you come into that agreement, there are realms and things that can never happen in your life. We have four more prayer points to pray. But in these four prayer points, you have to pray them in partnership, in agreement, in collaboration. Don't pray alone. Don't do it on your own. You don't have the capacity to do it on your own. You don't have the grace to do it on your own. So what do you do? You focus and pray. As we are about to pray, something big will begin to happen in the name of Jesus. Are you ready to collaborate? Are you ready to agree with God? Are you ready to partner with God? Coming into synergy with God? You will lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord, the grace to collaborate. Sometimes you want to partner, but then mm -mm, there's no strength. You want to collaborate with God, but something keeps drawing you back. You are the enemy. You want to collaborate with God, but something keeps pulling you back. You want to partner with God, something keeps pulling you back. Deal with that thing now. That is the reason for the downfall of many men. Hear me. No man can stand alone except with God. You will lift up your voice. Oh Lord, the grace to collaborate with you. See, your problem will never end until there's a collaboration between earth and heaven. Until you agree with God. Oh Lord, the grace to collaborate with you. The grace to partner 
partner with you, I receive now. The grace to collaborate with you. The grace to partner with you. Lord, I receive. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Maraja, Rekama, Shabada, Madelegate, Masoton, In the name of Jesus, come on, pray, 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 pray. Let us go back now, God. Let us go back now, In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Father. Oh, glory to God. Are you feeling Amen. something? Really? I'm feeling something. I'm feeling something. And see, I am led that I'm going to shorten the prayer section. This person, I will shorten this session. What will happen is there will be testimonies in between. I will break and then we'll take some testimonies. Some people need to testify right now. I will break, we'll take some testimony, very powerful testimonies. And then I will come back and make a major declaration because you have to collaborate with God. You, 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 yes, you have to collaborate, have to partner with God to be able to bring down what has been arranged from heaven for your sake. In John chapter 2, from verse 1 to 10, John 2, from verse 1 to 10, there have to be a reason for collaboration for that uh, a, 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 a miracle that happened in the, in the wedding. You see, the storm was brewing in, in, uh, at uh, the wedding of Cana, but something happened that, I mean, Cana of Galilee, I hope you know the story, the first miracle, as it said in the Bible, that Jesus actually performed the first miracle in the wedding ground. Alright? The storm was brewing because there was lack. Lack was announcing itself. Lack was the storm in that place, and the storm was brewing, and something happened. The servant of the wedding had to collaborate with Jesus so that what will happen, the storm can be still. The servant serving at the wedding had to collaborate. If those servants never collaborated, the storm would have disgraced and ended that wedding. That wedding would have been ended in shame. This is the prayer. Prayer number three. Prayer number two, you will pray this prayer with the whole of your heart. Pray this prayer with the whole of your Prayer number three, you will say, Lord, I receive the wisdom of partnering with you. Lord, I receive the wisdom of partnering with you so that you can steal the storm of lack in my life. This storm of lack was a major storm that was said to disgrace these people. But instantly, there was a release from heaven. 
instruction. Do this, do this. And they did. And it came to pass. And the storm was still. Lift up your voice. Prayer number three. You will say, Father, as I begin to pray, in Jesus' name, I receive wisdom. Wisdom to partner, wisdom of partnering with you, so that I can you can you can steal the storm of lack in my life. I receive the wisdom of partnering with you so that you can steal the storm of my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, steal the storm of my life. I receive wisdom to partner with you. Wisdom to partner with you. Wisdom to partner with you. Wisdom to Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Amen. To partner with Yeshua. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, do you know something? Do you know that if those servants had actually argued with the master, if those servants had actually argued about pouring the water uh, inside the pot, Ah, uh, what are you saying? We should go and be buying mineral or look for drink to buy. What do you say? Go and fetch water and pour. What, 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 what? If they had argued with the master, they would have aborted the miracle. Oh, your problem is you are too wise. You are acting too wise. I'm not saying you are wise. You are acting too wise to God. And because you are acting too wise, you have, you have aborted so many miracles. Sometimes God will tell you some things to do and it looks foolish. It, 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 in fact, it does not make sense. But in that thing that does not make sense, that is where the miracle is. It does not make sense, but that is where the miracle is. If those servants had argued and pouring the water in the pot, there would have been an abortion of the miracle. And I'm telling you, the storm would have destroyed. It would have destroyed that wedding. The miracle was said to destroy the lack, destroy the storm. But if they have argued with the master, it would have destroyed the wedding. Your prayer number four, very major. Oh Lord, I reject the spirit of argument. Oh, where are you? I reject the spirit of argument. My miracle shall not be aborted. I reject the spirit of argument. Lord, my miracle shall not be aborted. Go ahead and pray that prayer in few seconds. Lord, I reject the spirit of argument. My miracle shall not be aborted. My miracle shall not be aborted. My miracle shall not be aborted. Oh Lord! I reject the spirit of argument. Lord, I reject the spirit of argument. My miracle shall not be aborted. I reject the spirit of argument. My miracle shall not be aborted. My miracle shall not be aborted. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do you also know? Mm -hmm. Do you also know that if those servants, if they had disobeyed, the servant Paul in it now said, fetch a cup and go and give the master of the ceremony. Ah uh ah. -uh. Just like that. If they had disobeyed, it would have also uh, aborted the miracle. They did not disobey. They did, it would have hindered the miracle from manifesting and the storm would have destroyed the celebration. How many times 
mankind have stormed, disobeyed, I mean, I mean destroyed your celebration because of disobedience, you will lift up your voice. Before you pray this prayer, let me prophesy. I prophesy every storm assigned to destroy your celebration. In the name of Jesus, I command them to catch fire in Jesus' name. Listen to me very well. Hear me. See. Uh, for there to be celebration, there must be collaboration without disobedience. For there to be celebration, there have to be collaboration without disobedience. You will lift up your voice and pray. Prayer number five. With every vigor in you, you will declare, the force of disobedience will not rob me of my miracle. The force of disobedience will not rob me of my miracle. I receive the spirit of obedience. Go ahead and pray that prayer. I receive the spirit of obedience. The force of disobedience will not run me up my miracle. The force of disobedience, yes, also, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Hear me very well. I mean, pay serious attention. Serious attention. This is important. You see, in 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7, uh, when the prophet's widow was uh, hit with a storm, it was a very terrible storm and a storm that would have taken away her two sons. Something happened. She was told uh, by the man of God that she should borrow empty vessels into which God is going to use those empty vessels to manifest uh, some major miracles. And child of God, uh, that does not make sense. The instruction does not make sense. I mean, why would you? You would have just, you know, pray and let money come. Or you would have just uh, did something or called people to favor me or help me to pay my bills. Why would you tell me to go and borrow empty vessel? I don't understand, prophet, but child of God. You know, the foolish things of this world is, you know, the foolishness of God. God is bigger and stronger than, and wiser than the wisdom of men and of this world. God used the foolish thing to confirm the wise. Hallelujah. And that instruction does not make sense. In fact, at that time, it did not make any sense. But I love this prophet's widow. What she did was she did her part by obeying. She did her part by obeying. Today, will you do your part by obeying? We just prayed a prayer destroying the chain and the force of disobedience. The spirits of disobedience that want to rob us of our miracle. We pray that prayer right now, but there is a question for you. Will you obey the instruction that is coming? There is an instruction right now that is coming. You see, the widow obeyed. She played her part. She did her part by obeying. And guess what? God did his part by multiplying the oil. She did her part by obeying and God did his part by multiplying the oil. If you can obey to pay that sacrifice of prayer, to pray, this is the first day of the prayer. You do your part by praying throughout the seven days. What you are doing is you are doing your part of obedience and God will do his part by what? Multiplying your provision. She did her part. She obeyed. And beyond her obeying, something happened. If you can do your part by obeying today and getting a financial sacrifice, 
in these seven days and connecting to what God is doing. You can do it right now. You can do it now. Look at the numbers on your screen. You can do it now. Connecting, supporting the Jesus crusade. The Jesus crusade that is about to shift things go on any moment from now. Supporting the Jesus crusade. Supporting our crusade all over. We do crusade in rural areas. We do crusade in the rural areas. We transform the lives of villagers, bringing them to Jesus. We are on the mission, touching lives and transforming the lives of people. We're trusting God right now that any moment from now, we'll be opening a particular borehole in another community. God is helping us to do these things in different places by the power of God. And if you connect and, 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 and yeah, synergize with us, and you say, I love what these people are doing, I'm going to be part of it, and I'm sending my sacrifice, I'm doing this to be part of this. Way. God begin to expand and enlarge you beyond your thoughts. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Collaboration is what give birth to promotion. Collaboration with the Elohim is what give birth to celebration. Collaboration with God is what give birth, hallelujah, to your major liftings. And I want you to know if you can obey God and collaborate and partner with God and partner with Him, is what will happen. He will steal your stone. There's a trouble you're going through right now. He will end that trouble and he will increase provisions in your life. There is somebody you're paying attention Amen. You're seeking for a uh, 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 Holy Ghost. What's this now, Lord? You're seeking for a major contract. God says I should tell you right now that contract is locating you right there where you are. That contract is locating you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. You're, you're there, you're there, you're hearing me. Amen. You're Your attention is, Lord, how will you heal me? Get a sacrifice sent to the account on your screen right now. The Lord is saying, as you do so, I, the Lord, will begin to turn your life around. I will begin to favor you more than your thought, and I will steal your stone. The widow was spoken to. She obeyed God. And in that obedience, God begin to turn our life around. Get a sacrifice. To you, your own sacrifice is stepping in prayer for the seven days. For yourself, your family, your loved ones. So somebody, your sacrifice is a fight. God is speaking to you, saying, send that money. Send that 10,000. Send that 100,000. Send that, send it, send it. And as you're obeying God, Send that 1,000, that 5,000. As God is giving the instruction, do not sit back and say, ah, oh, this prophet, ah, I don't believe. You don't need to believe. But God will do what he will do, whether you believe or not. <laughs> whether you believe or not, he will do what he will do. But for your sake, for your sake, to speak up what God has for you, the plans of God for you, you need to do that. Obey God. Somebody, God is speaking to you to enter into the place of fasting. Give your tip to fasting this season. Go ahead and obey God. Obey the Spirit of God and fast. Obey the Spirit of God and fast. Yes, obey the Spirit of God and do that fasting. Somebody, God is talking to you. There's a widow around you. Favor that widow. Bless that widow. Somebody, God is speaking to you right now. And he's saying that there is somebody around your environment uh, that has not eaten. Give that person something to eat. God is speaking to you right now about somebody. Even about your pastor. Yes, it could be about your local pastor. And God is speaking and said, bless your pastor right now. Child of God, even that little recharge card of 200 or 500 naira can change your life and destiny forever. Go ahead and do it to your pastor. Go ahead and, and, and send up. The, let me tell you, there is no blessings, no blessings for you without a sacrifice. You must carry out the sacrifice. So go ahead, look at the account number on your screen. Send in an offering. Send in your sacrifice right now. As I'm speaking, do it now. Don't waste time. Don't delay. Do it now. God said, I'm going to lift you beyond where you are. And I'm going to turn your life around. We're going to be listening to some testimonies right now. 
But I'm, I want us to pray a prayer. Normally, we pray five prayer points. We should pray five prayer points already. But the Spirit of God is laying in my heart that we should pray this number six prayer. Six prayer point for this section. Hallelujah. From the beginning, I said it's five prayer point, but I, I need to obey the Holy Ghost because written five prayer point, written, but six is what the Lord is giving to me. And six is the number of man. Six is the number of man. And this prayer we're about to pray right now, I want you to, as we are praying the prayer, be sending your sacrifice. Be sending your sacrifice. As you send a sacrifice to this platform, send a sacrifice to your pastor if you have a pastor. Send a sacrifice to your pastor as well. Send an offering to your pastor. All right? And go ahead and do so. And God will not put you to shame. Now, remember that the, the sacrifice you're sending on this platform is for Jesus' crusade. Jesus' crusade. We are sending it. We are quickly preparing for a major crusade happening somewhere in Outside of our state, and we are, we are moving our guardian, moving our men, moving everyone to that vicinity. Child of God, you will see it's going to be live on air, and soon the date will be fixed because we're trying to make sure that the chief of the environment agree with our, our terms, and so we can move quickly with our equipment and, and start work. And, and you know, but the, anything we got, God's leading us to do, and God is going to help us through you to do. If God is saying we should start drilling the boreholes, we'll be happy to drill the boreholes. And if you support us, we'll be able to do that. So go ahead and set in. We are moving in clothes, food, you know, bags of rice, moving to that environment and sharing to the people that are in need. Remember, this is the kind of thing that Jesus said that we should be part and parcel of, we should be partnering with, and as we partner with this, heaven begin to take us from glory to glory, and our life will never remain the same. God is faithful. Now, if you decide to support, God will do it. If you say you will not support, God will still do it because God will use somebody else watching to support and God will use someone else and speak to somebody to be part of this. But if you do it, it is for your good because you are laying up treasures in heaven, not on earth, but in heaven. So go ahead and obey God and do it and God bless you in Jesus' name. Now let's go. The prayer is very powerful and you're going to be praying. You'll say, oh Lord, I have obeyed. Now, this obedience is you sending in your sacrifice. Is you sending a, a, a prophet offering to your prophet and to your pastor. Is you locating a neighbor, a friend, someone that's not eating and, 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 and reaching out to someone that's not eating. Or maybe God is speaking to you, don't have money to support, but you can send in prayers. Go ahead and send prayers. Go ahead and sincerely, you don't have money. I'm not talking about those that have money but just want to, you know, play over God. No. But then you can go ahead and then lay down in the place of prayer and begin to ask God to please help your work. Do you know that they are the rabbis? They are people that are indoors. For the rest of their life, they will not see the sun. And what are they praying? They are they lock themselves up and they are praying that the prophecies of the Bible come to pass. The prophecies of the scripture come to pass. Some are praying for nations. There are people that are not, they are not popular. They, are, they lock themselves inside. They are not popular like all the popular men of God you know about. My father in the Lord, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, uh, 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 Pastor uh, Dr. Paul and uh, uh, Bishop David, and all of these men of God that you know, popular people. They are not popular, but what they are doing is shaking kingdom of darkness. They are hidden inside somewhere. That's their calling. Their calling is to, is to spend their life in the place of prayer. I've seen people to spend their life. Nobody will know them, but they are there spending their lives in the place of prayer. Some of these people, people like us, reach them. We reach out to them. We make sure that they are blessed. Some are praying for the country. Some are praying for nations. Some are praying for the continent of Africa. I'm telling you, some of these people, if they are not existing, it will be shocking to you that I'm telling you, it will be so shocking that this world, the, the, I mean, uh, Nigeria could, be, uh, could have been consumed. Africa could have been consumed. Such people are the people you, you look out to, you send in sacrifice and you support. Hallelujah. And so you, you obeying to do this thing and you pray also for the work of God is a sacrifice. You're obeying to starve your flesh of your earthly desires 
And God is saying, because you have done this, I'm going to step in and I'm going to do this. So you say, oh Lord, I have obeyed you. Do your part. Remove every storm in my life. Oh Lord, I have obeyed you. Do your part. Remove every storm from my life. Go ahead and begin to pray that prayer now. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Makosha, le brum de le gejija, le krum de li gejija, le bada baya da baya da da, le kapa da baya bada bada, le kada baya da bada gada, le kunda le gudu gudu gudu. Geni kata, rata kapa rata kata ka, rata kapa rata kata kata ka, rata kata 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 ka. Engo la baya da baya da da, jamra da 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 da. Ande. Lord, I have obeyed you. I have sent my sacrifice. I have obeyed you. I have prayed the way I go. I have obeyed you. Oh Lord, do your part. Remove every storm. Remove every storm. Oh Lord, do your part. Ah, remove every storm in my life. Remove every storm in my life. Every storm. Remove every storm. Remove every storm. Gapale kata, gapale kata, gapale kata. I have done my part. I have obeyed you. Lord, remove every storm from my life. I am a little in Jesus' name, I prophesy. Because you have obeyed God, begin to go from glory to glory. Because you have obeyed God, begin to go from glory to glory. Begin to match up from glory to glory. You will not go down. 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 Amen. Jesus. Amen. 
when you send your amen. amen look at the number on the screen please send us a message that you have sent such and such amount of money we would like to know you send it into the jesus crusade account or you sent it into uh, my account whatever account you send it to it will get to the jesus crusade and if you're sending it to the prophet that is to me indicate if it's for jesus crusade please indicate and what will go for jesus crusade will go and what comes to the prophet comes to the prophet for your blessings and you will never go down in jesus name please go ahead do what is being instructed of you send in your sacrifice for the Jesus crusade, the prophetic sacrifice, go ahead and do that. Your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Go ahead and begin to appreciate Jesus. Appreciate Jehovah. Appreciate the Messiah. Oh, thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. To receive glory, honor, and power. Father, it is done in Jesus' name. Do this quickly. Do this right now. Send in as the Lord lead you. Do it in the name of Jesus Christ. This is important. We are going to be listening to a major, some major, major testimony. And after the testimony, I will be coming. I believe your faith will be beyond stirred up by then. I will come up and I will pray for you. Listen to me. Oh my God. You have no idea. I will pray with you. The power of God will turn your life around and there shall be an all-round breakthrough for you in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. So we we'll get our testimony done and I want you to pay attention. Listen to the testimony. I'll be praying for the sick after this testimony and I'll be praying for the sick and I will also pray for everyone trusting God for financial miracles for contracts. As I'm led, I'll be praying for you after this testimony whatever it is that god has declared and is yours must come to you you will not miss it you will not be a failure you will not be locked out where you're supposed to be honored in the name of jesus christ hold on get your atm ready because miracle money is real my father and the lord prayed about miracle money for me and i received it and from that day anyone i declared upon miracle money always locate people diversely in different form so get your atm ready i will be praying for you miracle money will locate you and it will be massive to the glory of god it's well with you in jesus name all right let's listen to the beautiful testimonies that we have to share let's hear the testimony media please let's get the testimony on god bless you praise god praise master jesus i want to thank god for his goodness over my life and the life of my family i want to bless his name because he's worthy of praises god has been so faithful God has been so nice in my life, in the area of my health, in the area of my marriage. Since 2015, I started threshing floor. I have, I, I will not regret it, and I'm not regretting it because the power of God is really in threshing floor. 2017, I was down. I was having liver enlargement. I was having kidney problem. I went to test. They diagnosed me and they told me all what I was passing through. But when I called my father in the Lord Pastor, he called me that I should come to the church. He held my hand. I laid down on the altar here. He prayed for me. Went back the next day to the hospital. All what they told me, they said I don't have anything in my system. He said I should be drinking water. That it will flush it out because I know God has really used my pastor to heal me. Tracy Floor is really a blessing in my life. Tracy Floor is really a blessing in my family, in my husband's office. He has been passing through challenges where once I table it to God and I come to Tracy Floor, I call my father in the Lord, Pastor Zemi He will pray over it. He will pray and give me assignment to do, give me verses of Bible to pray. 
and when I do it, everything will come normal. Testimonies will come, I will call him and tell him this is what I have prayed about and the testimony is here. In uh, 2019, I was having challenge, waist challenge. They said is a, 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 when I went to hospital, they told me that it was a, the spina, the spinal cord that they want to operate me. They referred me to National Assembly, National Hospital. On our way going there, my father in the Lord called me, and when I came back, they drove me back to the church again. Prayers, the prayer group, and my pastor, they prayed over the, the, the spinal. Behold, behold, I could not stand, I could not walk, but God did this miracle through my pastor. I started walking, and since then, nothing, nothing like waist pain. I couldn't even stand for months before that uh, healing came. God has been so wonderful. God has been so powerful in the life of my children, in the life of my business, in threshing floor. I will never regret it. God is here in threshing floor. God has been using my pastor. Is it my son who is in school, who had challenge, was mad, was moving, was talking anyhow? My pastor was not there, but he woke me around 12 that something ungodly is going on, that we should pray. The next thing my son called me, that he cannot, that I don't know what is happening with him. And when I, my pastor called, we put him into prayer. I gave him some verses of Bible to pray and some other things to do as, uh, as the instruction was taking place. Till now he's on his feet, he has gone back to school. May the good Lord continue to do his work over my life, over threshing floor, over the members of threshing floor. God has been so powerful. There's something recently that happened in my husband's office. Most of them have been going out for outside work, going and coming in a week. Some will go, he will not go. So when he called me that we should pray that something heavy is coming to our family, we prayed over it. As I prayed in the evening, behold, behold, my husband called me in the office and told me that that thing that he told me that we prayed over, that my pastor called me, it has come to pass. Good news has been coming in my family. The health, I'm so strong. Everything about me now, I am okay. The result test, they told me to go back for, for another checkup again. They say my system is okay. I am very okay. I am very, very okay. Very fine. May the good Lord continue to perfect everything about all those who are asking for healing, for financial, for their children and everything. God is here in tracing floor. There is God in tracing floor. There is God in tracing floor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me, for giving me the strength. Every day I go out, I come back safely. It is the power of God. It's in threshing floor. May the good Lord continue to bless us. May the good Lord continue to do his miracle over our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to thank God for my life, for the life of my family. I want to thank God for what God has been doing in threshing floor ministry. I want to thank God for the life of my, fa my spiritual father, Pastor Dr. Ezemena Uchenunu. I want to appreciate God's name because he's been so faithful to my life, to my family. May his name alone be Ale exalted. My name is Sister Justina Felix. I'm giving testimony from Abuja. My testimony, I want to thank God because God used my father and the Lord to do greater things in my life. In fact, I was so shocked that day. My sister traveled from Adama State to come to Abuja. She came to see me in Abuja. After she came, that very day in the night, she was telling me that her uh, eyes paining her. I said, how come? I, just, I was thinking it's because of dust. But I don't know that, in fact, the devil came very strong that day. After two days, we began find buy drugs for her do this, do that. She stayed two months for my place. This eye was disturbing her. In fact, one faithful Sunday like this, when we woke up in the morning to dress to church, she said she cannot see. She was blind. I said, you cannot see me? She said, yes. I said, are you sure? She said, yes. I want to cry, but I said, if I cry now, the thing will be serious. She too, she will start crying, and I keep quiet. I said, ah, oh God, have mercy. After we dress, we come to church. After service, that day, my father and the Lord did not even make altar call for sick people. But after the prayer, I now meet him in the altar. I said, 
sister, my sister, look at the challenge. She said, get water. I buy pure water. He pray for that pure water. He now tell her to drink the pure water. He command that blindness to go out. That very moment, my sister begin to see. The girl that we came to church, she cannot see anything. But to the glory of God that day, she now see. I want to return all the glory to God because he's been using my father and the Lord in fact for my family. I want to still thank God again for the life of my mother. My mother, she been sick for two years. She cannot walk, she cannot go to farm. But to the glory of God, when my father and the Lord make an altar call for anyone that is sick, I come out on behalf of my mother and stand. When my father and the Lord pray, in my heart I say, God, as I come out, when my father and the Lord touch me, because my mother, she's the one that born me, use that touching to touch her too. Distance is not a barrier. To the glory of God, after service, I call my mother since that day to today. My mother, she's healthy, no more anything like pain in her leg again. I want to return the glory to God because God has been using my father and the Lord to do some powerful, powerful thing in my life. What I cannot, no, ordinary, I cannot even believe it if somebody else outside tell me. But God use my father and the Lord to do it for me to see it, for me to see that testimony. I want to thank God again for the life of my friend, Joy. She's from Joss. When my friend, she's sick, if she, if she have pregnant, she will get miscarriage. She have miscarriage like eight times. But to the glory of God, that day she's been sick, we took her to the hospital. After doctor, they, they do their tests, doing everything. They say they cannot do it. In fact, my, my friend, she's not even opening her eye. She cannot eat. She cannot do anything that day. So the doctor, like one woman, and tell me that uh, this thing is spiritual thing. So we should carry my, my friend to, uh, to, to, to see a pastor. And I said, okay, let's take her to my pastor. When we reached the church, we did not even meet my father in the Lord. But we now drop my friend in the altar. We started praying before my father and the Lord came. When my father and the Lord came, begin to tell her some things about what happened. Because that my friend, she can give very well. Through that I give it, that is how they do all those things to her. But God used my father and the Lord that very day to heal her. The my friend that she's been married for eight years, she cannot born. But after that prayer, God make her now. She has been baby boy. His name is Emmanuel. I want to thank God because there is God in Threshing Floor Ministry. I want to tell everybody that is watching us in this platform, I want to tell you, please, connect. Connect very strongly in this program that is coming forth. Connect with your, the whole of your heart. Don't be distracted. Follow us up and see the wonders of God. What did it, that thing that stands for you as a barrier, you will see it through this program. God will take it away. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for this great miracle that he's been doing in my life. I want to still thank God again because my father and the Lord during January time, he called my husband when we are doing fasting, he tell my husband, he say, he see contra like, 21 contract that is coming his way to the glory of god is not more less than one week that in come to pass in fact throughout since that day that my father and the lord said today that i'm giving you this testimony so my husband has been busy busy for the greater things that god has been doing through that prophecy I want to appreciate God because God has been faithful through my Father and the Lord. God has, has given me so many prophecies and it come to pass. I want to tell you, anyone that is watching me there, out there, if you do not believe in prophecy or you do not believe in some men of God, that will tell you that this and that, believe in my pastor. Whatever I tell you that you should do, do it. 
because God is really doing wonders through him. Because, in fact, God has given my, fa my father and the Lord so many prophecies that my father and the Lord tell us, and to the glory of God, he come to pass. My father and the Lord, through him, he tell us that we are going to build a house, and to the glory of God, we are built the house. I want to appreciate God because he's been faithful in my life, in my marriage, in my parents, in all areas of my life. Whatever it is, he never disappoints me. Whatever it is that my father and the Lord said, he come to pass. So I want to tell you to trust on God and to believe. Follow us in this program that we are doing this week. Do not be distracted. Whatever it is that want to stand in your way as a blockage, in fact, let that thing come on your mind from that thing and just focus and listen to this our program. Let come and see what God is going to do in your life. Come and see the glory of God that is moving in Treasure Floor Ministry through our Father in the Lord. Pastor Dr. Ezemena Uchenunu. I want to return the glory to God because he's been faithful. May his name alone be Allah exalted. Amen. Wow, what a move of God. What a wonderful, wonderful move of God. Father, we thank you. Thank you for those testimonies. In the name of Jesus, do more in the life of everyone watching in the name of Jesus now. I'm about to pray for you, and when I pray with you and for you by the power of God, you will receive your miracle. Please, just like the people you just watched now, do your own video and send because you will receive your miracle. And if you don't mind, right now, you can video the way you are right now. Yes, go ahead. You are under stroke. You are under a particular attack. You can walk with your legs. You can see clearly with your eyes. Jesus will heal you. That woman brought her sister. And what happened to her? The sister was blind, totally blind. On the, and right there, it was not even a savage day. I mean, I mean, the, the service was over. Only a savage moment. But what happened? God healed her. God will not wait for a special day to heal you. He can heal you anytime and any day. Hallelujah. The other lady stepped in and God healed her. The woman without uh, uh, issues. Now she has a son and the name is Emmanuel to the glory of God. Hallelujah. For how many years? No child. I believe she said uh, it's a 12 or 8 years. No child. Miscarriage continually. And God gave her a son right now by name Emmanuel. Where is your own Emmanuel? You're trusting God for your miracle, your baby. It's time now. Please get ready. I'm about to pray. I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing of God in this room right now. And it's right there where you are. And as I'm going to be praying for you, there will be healing for you. So much healing in the name of Jesus. The woman with the, uh, what happened? Uh, you, I hope you heard the, the testimony, right? She had um, uh, 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 issues with her, her spinal cord and God healed her. What a wonderful God. We saw powerful testimony. God healed her. God healed her. The spinal cord issue disappeared by the power of God. Would you be quiet? Won't you receive your own miracle also? Different miracles everywhere. You have them. And it's time to receive your miracle. If you are ready, God is ready. Are you ready? All right. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I want to pray for everyone that is sick, Holy Ghost. Locate them right now. Everyone sick of any disease. I see a lady that you're close to your screen, your phone or your laptop, your clothes or your iPad. You're watching with anything you're watching with. I'm praying for you right now. Receive your healing. Lord, by your mercy. Let there be a release of healing right now. Receive your healing. Young lady, be healed by the power of God. Be healed by the power of God. Young lady, be healed right now. Blind eyes open in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you, open. Let infirmity disappear. Let attack God in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, there's somebody watching right now. You are paralyzed head to toe. The only thing that can move is your head. But all of your body paralyzed. Hey! 
I command you right now. Get up. Be healed. Get up. Be all right. Get up. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, let your whole body receive strength. Let your whole body receive light right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's somebody watching. Demonic migraine. Demonic migraine headache. It comes and go. Comes and go. Get out of that light now, you migraine headache. Go! In the name of Jesus. Somebody, your own is not blindness. But the way he's doing you is more than blindness. Ah, the eye will just swell up. Sometimes it gets swollen. And then before you know, it start bringing out water. And bring out water and pus. I'm seeing an eye that is bringing out water and pus. What is this? What is this? And somebody suffering from glycoma. Glycoma. I hear that word glycoma. Somebody suffering from, you're watching me. Suffering from glycoma. I command. Do you hear God's words? Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody that desired the deliverance of God. They sent a demonic serpent. A serpent. They sent serpent against you. They sent a demonic snake to locate you. Right now in Jesus name. Go to hell. In the name of Jesus Christ. That stampede will die and be roasted by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody watching right now. You have been trusting God for a total redemption. Total healing all around. And till now. Till now. You have not received your healing. If you can join your hands with me. Join your hands with me. In the realm of the spirit. Join your hands with me. I connect my hands with your hands. I connect my hands with your hands and I pray for you receive your healing oh sister receive your healing brother right where you are receive your healing in the name of Jesus I hear the Lord declaring to me they are healed everyone sick watching me now of any sickness any disease you are healed of every infirmity you are healed by the power of God you are healed of every disease and of every infirmity. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. I command your healing sharply now. I command your healing instantly now. I command your healing clearly now. Immediately be healed. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Oh, no going back. No, oh man, daily Guyana, No going back. No falling down. Receive your healing. Receive no more falling. No more rising and falling. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. I bless the business. You're doing a business. I command your business to be blessed. I command your business to be blessed. I declare your business is blessed. Your business is blessed. In Jesus' name. You're trusting God for a, 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 a miraculous contract. Receive it now. It's yours. In Jesus' name. You're trusting God for something very special in your life. Where is your ATM? Get the ATM closed. Yeah, get it closed. Get it closed. Get it closed to the screen. I prophesy. Receive right now. Financial pay rise. Receive miraculous money. Locate you now. Men that need to remember you begin to remember you. In the name of Jesus, it is done. In Jesus' name. Hey, sister, you are blessed. Hey, brother, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the song I want you to start singing. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well, well, well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Oh, Jehovah Jireh has done me well. <laughs> That's the song you need to sing. Sing it now. Hallelujah and God bless you in Jesus' name. Now as we wrap up this section, go ahead, send in your seed. Your offering, your gift of love, send it right now. Send a partnership to the Jesus Crusade. Send it right now. God will not put you to shame. He will raise you up from glory to glory and bless your life like never before. You are blessed and it is well with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'll see you tomorrow, 11 p.m. And we are going to be praying so powerfully to the glory of God. Do not forget. Jesus is always Lord in our life, in Jesus' name. And when you are joining this prayer, don't forget, you don't have to blink. 
because Jesus is here. I love you and I celebrate you. I'm waiting to hear from you. Send me a message and to be part of our platform, our uh, online WhatsApp platform. Send a message to the number on your screen, sending your sacrifice. God bless you. I want to hear from you.